Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a quick haul. I know you guys are seeing these hauls back to back, but um, this is going to be a ChristianBook.com haul because I told you guys in my March book haul that I had made two orders with them. So I'm going to show you guys quickly what those are, but then you'll be seeing them again in the monthly book haul. But before I get into that, I want to show you guys what I got from Walmart, because I did make a Walmart trip with my mom. We went food shopping. So I went and browsed a little stationary area, and they really didn't have a lot, shockingly enough. Um, I really just wanted to go to get sticky notes, and um, I wanted some 0.7 or 0.5 millimeter pens. Um, they're basically pens that kind of look like that, like with the small nib. Um, if you guys know what the uh, what are these paper mate ink joy gel pens are, they have that small kind of nib. I like pens in that size, um, and I didn't want to have to order off of Amazon, so I basically went there to find ballpoint pens like that. Could not find any. They had the gel pens from um, paper mate, but I'm really not a huge fan of those um, on certain types of paper, and I didn't really want to use those in my Bible, so I decided to get some other pens, um, which are these. These are just regular big, uh, what do they call them? Click stick pens. And these are like the old school pens that you used back in like the early 90s. Um, so yeah, I just got these. And it comes with 20, no, 18. Um, and you get two of each color. So you have pink, red, black, dark blue, light blue, purple, dark green, and light green. So I have that because I have two new Bibles I'm going to show you guys. But I got these. These are one millimeter medium ballpoint pens. They didn't have any in the .7. All the .7 ones were gel pens, and I didn't want gel pens for my Bible. So um, I just got these. Next thing I got was this clipboard. Um, I have a full-size clipboard, but I wanted a smaller one where I could like sit on my bed and jot down anything I needed to on um, index cards. So I use index cards a lot for writing down prayer scriptures or when I'm doing my intercessory prayers, I prefer to write them on index cards. So I just got this so that I can keep this at my desk somewhere. And then I have this gorgeous, stunning notebook you guys this notebook is absolutely sunny you guys see this so you have this neon kind of yellow with this black splotch in the middle with notes written in gold for you you have the white background with the black polka dots and you have this gold spine on the back it is all black and the paper quality on this oh my god you guys i literally when i saw this it was only one of them and i was looking for more because the quality of the paper is absolutely amazing um i'm not a paper snob or pen snob as some people would call it um but i do recognize good quality paper when i feel it so um that quality paper is amazing uh the next thing i got was three packs of tape i just needed more tape because the tape that i'm currently using is this dollar tree tape and it is not the best like not at all now i do buy the scotch brand tape from dollar tree but it's the double-sided sticky tape um, which is basically this. I get these from Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar. You get a good amount, but it's double-sided, and I needed just regular plain tape. Um, and I bought the Dollar Tree one, but I didn't care for it, so I just went and got these. These were 77 cents. Um, it's the matte finish invisible tape from Pen, Pen and Gear from um, Walmart. So three of those. I don't even know where to put this. Whatever. Then... I got more sticky notes because I'm sticky note obsessed. <laughs> um, so you guys know in the last uh, haul, I think it was the March haul. I don't know what haul it was. Not even probably the March. I think it, I don't know what. I think it was a mini haul that I posted. I'll leave it on the screen somewhere. I hauled these from Walmart. Um, it's the donut emoji, the kissy face emoji with the heart, and then the poop emoji. So they had more of the emoji styled um, sticky notes. So I had picked up two of the crying face ones, and I gave one to my mom because she likes sticky notes as well. They had the cloud with the rainbow emoji, so I picked up one. They had the french fry, but I didn't buy it because I really didn't think I would use it. They had the rainbow poop emoji, which I've actually never seen this emoji before in my life, but, um, you know, there it is. I have that. And then they had the unicorn. Oh my god, you guys. I bought four packs of these, like, no lie. I have one here, two here, and then I ended up giving one to my mom. I'm debating if I want to save one of these for a giveaway because it's so stinking cute. But you guys, like, the unicorn is so cute, so I can't wait to use these. Let me move my sticky notes to the side. And then, but now we're going to jump into everything from ChristianBook.com. So where's my invoice? Because I had them. So I have two invoices here. I probably should have organized this in the way that I 
afforded it because everything was different prices. Um, but they basically had a $5 kind of flash sale for, I think, four or five days. Um, it ends on the 9th, on Monday the 9th. You're probably not going to see this video until Thursday, so I apologize ahead of time. But um, I definitely recommend you guys going to christianbook.com and signing up for their newsletter because um, you definitely will be notified when they're having free shipping, when they're having flash sales, bargain deals, and things like that. Um, I'm normally not a fan of christianbook.com just because the way they do their shipping. Um, I think if it's over, let me see, if it's less than $20, your shipping is $3.99. If it's over, I think $20 or $25, it's $5.99. And if you go over that, um, a certain amount, like $40 or $50, it's like $9.99. Um, you only get free shipping basically if you spend $150 or if they're having like a little free shipping day kind of thing. But that's pretty much the only time you will catch them with free shipping. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys everything. I did buy two new Bibles, which I'll show you at the end. But um, the first thing that was in my box was this. Um, it's just a kid's 2018 catalog. I'm going to keep this for my son. He is four. He loves the Bible. He loves anything dealing with the church. Um, so I'm going to let him flick through here and see what he likes. And see if I can um, get it for him. Then it's this 2018 Connection, Tyndale, Con Tyndale Connection, sorry. Basically resources for outreach small groups and churches. Just different Bible studies, Bibles, and stuff from Tyndale that they have at ChristianBook.com. Um, and I did, this is definitely a Bible study that I want to get. I do have the ebook of Becoming Mom Strong by Heidi St. John, but I do want the Bible study. So um, I keep taking it out of my cart, but I'm definitely going to get that. A bunch of different things in there, so that's that. Okay, so... On to the orders. I have my two invoices. I'm going to try to show you guys this um, by how I ordered it, hopefully. Or I'll probably show you guys everything. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm probably going to show you guys by how I ordered it. I can. But, um, no, I'm not even going to do that. Whatever. So, we're just going to jump into, like, the DVD audio stuff that I got. So, I did get my son an item, and it is the Veggie Tales. Um, Let Us Love One Another. It is three great stories and one awesome collection with five bonus fun ways to love someone. And I am a huge fan of Veggie Tales. Um, when I was in church at a younger age, um, when we used to have youth Sundays, we used to go to, down to the um, kind of basement where we had youth church. And uh, we would watch a lot of the VeggieTale kind of movies. We would watch Prince of Egypt and stuff like that um, just to help us learn more about the Bible. And I love VeggieTales. I have my son watch it on Netflix and he's in love with it. So I saw that they had this for $5 and opted to get it because he does love VeggieTales. And I'm a huge fan of VeggieTales myself. So um, yeah, got that for him. And that was $5. The next item I got, um, I'm not going to lie, I got it because it was $5 and the cover art was pretty. And it is this. It is by Kari Jobe or Job. It's called The Garden. There are 11 songs on here. Um, it says new studio album featuring some other, like three other things here. I don't know what that is. But um, I bought it because, I mean, do you guys see how pretty the artwork is? That's honestly why I got it. So after I bought it, um, I went on Google Play Music to listen to the album. And I actually do like the album. Um, so I have the CD. And it was only five bucks. Slide that there. Um not going to show that or that or that <laughs> i'm trying to show you guys in the correct way that i purchased everything but i don't think i can i'm sorry just let me see yeah okay so then i got jesus lives um by sarah young i do want all of the jesus kind of series she has i do have jesus calling which you guys have seen in my 2018 um, devotional videos. I have the pink edition for that one. Um, I have Jesus Lives Now. I also need to get Jesus Always, Jesus Today. And I feel like there's another one that I'm forgetting, but I want all of them in the series because I think they're amazing devotionals. So I got this. It was $5 and I love the cover. It's so cute. And it says it's a companion to Jesus Calling. So I have that. I got this book here by Beth Moore. It is Praying the Word. Wait, oh, sorry. Praying God's Word. Um, breaking free from spiritual strongholds. I got this because I do have the ebook, but I never really read it yet. So I decided they have it for five dollars. Why not? And I do like Beth Moore's work. Um, and I like that this has like a section for you to like write your prayers in it. Um, and I'm all about prayers right now, like all about prayers. And she has a bunch of scriptures in here and just praying God's word over your life. So I loving this. And this is a big book. Like I didn't expect it to be this big, but this is bigger than fervent. Um, so I can't wait to dive into that. This is another book that I have an ebook copy of, but 
I saw that they had the physical copy, and I'm kind of glad because I never read the um, ebook of it, but when I was flipping through it, I, I saw some things in there that really piqued my interest, which I'm going to try to show you guys. But um, it is Women of the Word by Jen Wilkin, How to Study the Bible with Both Our Hearts and Our Minds. It looks like this. And um, let me see if I can find that page that I saw that actually like made me excited that I had a physical copy. Because she actually shows you in here how to take your notes in your Bible. So this, she did James 1, um, 1 through 18 in the ESV. And I'm going to guess this is the journaling Bible she was using. But um, she shows you how she took notes in her Bible. So I thought that was really awesome. I'm not sure if there's like other little tad bits in here like that. But she really goes in depth into how to study your Bible. So I have this book and I'm definitely going to put this on my shelf to read really soon. Then I got two from John MacArthur, and they're kind of like um, the same book, but different genders, if that makes sense. And I want a John MacArthur Study Bible so bad. I want an NASB John MacArthur Study Bible. I do like John MacArthur. I know that he is a very credible person when it comes to scripture. But um, I have 12 Ordinary Men by John MacArthur. It is how the master shaped his disciples for greatness and what he wants to do with you. So this is about the 12 disciples. It says, who were these men? They weren't saints. They weren't scholars. They weren't even religious sages. So I'm excited to dive into this because I do love the 12 disciples. And um, I feel like the 12 disciples were idiots. I'm sorry, but when you read through the Gospels and you see how um, they didn't have so much faith in God as they should have, it really blows my mind. Um, I've already studied John and Luke in depth, and it blows my mind that these disciples were the way they were. I mean, Peter was just, oh, he had such an anger issue, um, and the rest of them, Judas, it, uh, I, it blows my mind. Like, the 12 disciples really blows my mind. It's crazy how they were the closest ones with Jesus, walked with Jesus, saw every miracle that he did. But with certain things, they couldn't believe it. But the women of the Bible always believed Jesus. So, I don't know. It blows my mind. But um, I'm definitely excited to get into this. And this literally goes through all 12 disciples. And if for those of you who don't know, I'm just going to tell you who it is. So, it's Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Nathaniel, Matthew, Thomas, um... Judas, Judas, James. There, okay, there are two Judases. There's Judas it, Iscariot, and um, that's the Judas that betrayed Jesus. And there's another Judas, um, and then you have James. So it goes through all 12 disciples. I have that. And then we have the 12 Extraordinary Women, also by John MacArthur. This is how God shaped women of the Bible and what he wants to do with you. This one, for some reason, includes a study guide, whereas this one, the 12... Um, ordinary men don't. This one goes to Ruth, Hannah, Martha, Mary, Mary Magdalene, Sarah, um, Anna, the Samaritan woman, and some other women. But here is what that looks like. So I'll show you guys the covers together. Hopefully I'm in frame for you guys. But um, yeah, this has a study guide. This doesn't. So I don't know why, but it doesn't bother me now. And then I did get a Bible with that order, but I'll show the Bible last. And then the next items I have, okay, so I have 40 Days with Jesus, Celebrating His Presence by Sarah Young. And it's just a quick 40-day devotional. Um, I'm trying to find out how much it was. This was $2.199. So just 40 Days with Jesus. It's a quick 40-day uh, devotional, $2, and I really like it. So I can't wait to dive into that. Um, what else, what else? I have the Compact Bible Handbook. This is from George Knight and James Edward. It's in the Nelson's Compact series. And you guys already know that I hauled this one in the, the um, other haul that I showed you guys. The Bible Dictionary, the Compact one. So I decided to get the Bible Handbook. And there's another one in here, which is the Compact Bible Concordance, which I'm not going to buy because I have the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance you saw. But, um, yeah, I have this. And this says it summarizes every book of the Bible. It includes outlines, charts, and timelines and can be used with the New King James, the King James, NIV, the NCV, and other popular translations. And um, it just goes through each book of the Bible giving you detailed who, what, when, where, why kind of information, outlines, and um, I like books like these. So I'm excited about that. This was $3.99 for this book. Um, and it retails for $15, but I paid only 4 bucks for it, so that's a good deal. And the rest of these books were like either $0.99, cents, $0.89, cents, or I got them together for a great 
deal. Um, so these first two, I think I got together. Yeah, I got these first two in a, a kind of like pack bundle. Um, it's Know Your Bible, all 66 books explained and applied, and then how to study the Bible. Um, I got these two because my mom actually has both of these on her bookshelf, and I tried to read hers, but hers is all marked up and stuff. And um, though I read a few pages from it, I really just wanted my own. Now, I do have a complaint because this one I got just came ripped up. If you guys can see this, this tear literally goes through the whole thing, if you guys can see. Um, it's not that much of a bother to me. But, um, yeah, this one just goes through different techniques and methods for you studying your Bible. And, again, this goes through explaining each book of the Bible, kind of like the Bible handbook, just a smaller version. So, I have these two. They were both um, 99 cents, but I got it for, like, 198 or something like that in a bundle. Then, I have How to Pray, The Best of John Wesley on Prayer. This is kind of like a mini devotional, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm going to say it's a devotional because it's written like a devotional you have the title the scripture and then his little commentary or kind of like devo thingy so um yeah i'm excited about this this was let's see 99 cents as well so i got that and then i have the 199 promises of god this is something else i think my mom has on her shelf that i liked and um this literally just goes through the prompt the promises of God in the Bible and I got this because I think this would be great for when I'm doing intercessory prayers or I want to pray a scripture over my life I could pray the promises of God over my life so that's why I got it and it's just a little nice book to have on your shelf um for you know personal reasons and the last two items I got are Bible so the first Bible I got is the NIV value thin line Bible it is a standard print in a lay flat it is um 8.4 8 point four font um pretty much that's it there's no concordance there's no maps there's no nothing it's just a typical standard reading bible in an NIV translation and it looks like this i like the color of it here's what the spine looks like i will do a whole flip through of this bible if you guys are interested um here's a presentation page and it's just two column the font is nice it's not you know crazy it is not red letter text, unfortunately. You guys know I love red letter text, but it's not. Um, I don't care personally for the NIV translation. And I'm going to do a video on the translations I like and why I prefer the New King James um, over a lot of other translations. But for me, the NIV just doesn't cut it. However, I did buy an NIV translation for my baby sister because um, it's easier for her to understand. And um, I decided just to get one because there's nothing wrong with having an NIV. I know some preachers preach from the NIV translation. My pastor sometimes reads from the NIV. Sometimes he reads from the Amplified. Sometimes he reads from the NLT. Sometimes he reads from the message just to get it across a little better. And then other times he just sticks with the traditional King James. But, um, you know, I decided it would be nothing wrong with having my own NIV translation. So I got it. It was five bucks. Um, and it's a nice pretty color, and I actually do like the Bible a lot. It's pretty. So, I have that. And I haven't decided how I'm going to use that one yet, because you guys know all of my Bibles have a specific use. And I will do an updated kind of Bible collection, probably in the summer, because there are a few more Bibles. I think three or four more Bibles that I want to get my hands on. But, um, the last item that I got in the last Bible that is, is this devotional Bible for women. And it is in the King James Version, and it is by Ellie Claire. Um, the devotionals are by Ellie Claire, and she's the woman that makes the cute little um, Bible tabs, kind of like this. I don't know if I have one of the papers available to show you. I'm trying to see if I have one, but I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't know where they are, but um, she makes little cute Bible tabs. I'll put a photo here of one of them. I really like her Bible tabs. I use them in all of my Bibles. Um, the little lavender and pink ones that you guys seen in my King James and my HCSB. Those tabs are from this lady. So she basically created um, a devotional Bible for women. And I'm not going to lie, I got it because it was pretty. It, it was pretty. That that was pretty much why I got it. Um, I saw that it was $5 and this Bible is so freaking pretty. I love purple. I like pink. Oh, it's hardcover. The end pages look really pretty. The presentation page is pretty. I mean, it's just a standard Bible. Two column. Um, I don't think this is... Oh, yes, it is red. Well, in this case, it's more of a magenta-lettered text. <laughs> 
but it's their version of red letter text and let me show you guys a little devotional if I can find one um here we go wait I just saw it here is a little devotional right here so in between some of the pages there are devotionals this one is about the indwelling of the Holy Spirit um, it talks about the Holy Spirit. It gives you related verses and a little Devo with the main scripture. And I like it. It's really pretty. Um, I have debated on how to use it. I'm still debating. Um, I have made up two different, two new color coding systems. So I'll go through all my color coding systems as well in the video. But that's pretty much everything that I got. I did receive a lot of review books in the mail, but I'm not going to show those to you until the end of the month, of course. But um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, rating, commenting, and subscribing. To all my new subscribers, I thank you so much. There will be another giveaway coming soon. I mean, I'm past 500 subscribers and I didn't expect that when I made this channel but um, I truly appreciate it thank you guys for the nice comments and I know a lot of you guys are looking for more of my Bible journaling videos I'm definitely gonna be doing more study with me videos as well as some devotional devotional with me videos um, and more in-depth videos on how to do the Bible journaling style that I do because it is very different from how everyone else does the Bible journaling where they draw and stuff like that I don't do that um, there's nothing wrong with it again I think it's the prettiest thing but for me I feel convicted um, when I do that so for me feeling convicted um, I'm just not gonna do it now if it doesn't convict anyone else that's fine but for me personally it does um, however I love looking at the pretty artwork that everyone else does but um, I'm more of a writer anyway. I love writing, so that's why I journal like that. But um, thank you guys for the feedback, your comments. Um, I see your requests. I'm writing all your requests down. I know someone asked me to do um, a bookshelf tour, which is definitely coming. I'm just going to do that bookshelf tour and get it out the way because waiting is just not going to work. Every time I decide to make it, I get more packages in the mail. So I told myself I was just going to make the video this month for you guys. So sometime at the end of April, you guys will be seeing my bookshelf tour. But um, that is pretty much it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!